you count the ones on the descent stage, if you count the ones on the helicopter, you know, we're talking about 25 cameras on this rover. Just unbelievable image rich. And I think we were all blown away by the videos, right? By those incredible, the parachute and the thing and the stuff. And it's like, what? It's just really hard to believe that uh, all that worked, even though many of us kind of knew intellectually what to expect. Uh, emotionally, it was like we were blown out of the water. It was incredible. And and a lot of us are having uh, on the mass cam ZTM are having the same experience with the pictures we're taking with these zoom cameras. When you take a panorama like this on Mars, you're, you're thinking, oh, it's very technical and it is, but it's in some ways the same as when you have your smartphone because what you need to do is you have to look in the right direction and you have to get the focus right. And that's really what we focus on um, when we're taking these images. We're millions of miles away though. Our selfie stick, if you will, is 150 million miles long. Now in this case, we didn't land on Mars before we took this, right? We had to plan it in the blind. See how we start at the horizon? Where imagine being on the mast, you're looking one way and then looking next down the down we go as we take the panorama and building up tile by tile from the horizon and all the way down to the rover deck. 142 different frames. You can see we have focus on the hardware, on the landscape, and it's all put together into one sequence. We're gonna zoom in on this panorama all the way behind the rover. This is looking to the north a little bit northwest, uh, and you can see a couple of different ridges. There's a near ridge closer to us, and then there's those far mountains. The near ridge closest to us is the, the front edge of the delta, the Jezero Crater Delta that brought us to this site, that brought this rover to this place. This is an area pretty close uh, to the rover that's uh, uh, been scoured by the retro rockets coming down. And, and delivering the rover on the sky crane. So some of the dust and soil has been scoured away, exposing these rocks. It is a highly eroded, probably wind carved rock. And we've seen rocks like this at other <clears throat> Mars landing sites. Uh, the, these rocks have been exposed to the winds of Mars for billions of years. And you'd think that the sand grains, you know, gently moving across the surface wouldn't do much erosion but if you let them do that work for two, three billion years, you can create these just fantastic uh, forms. These are light toned, uh, pitted rocks that again, part of the dust and, and soil that was covering them has been blown away. I predict we will do some re relatively fun kind of things like take some pictures of the earth. You know, take, uh, this has been done on previous rover and lander missions. Uh, we will take what, you know, these are the ultimate selfies, right? Everybody on the earth in that one pale blue dot in the sky. And so we'll probably do some sort of fun stuff like that too.